Hey there, welcome to Life Noggin. What the heck is 3D printing? That's a question I hear a lot these days, and I am just the right pixelated mascot to answer it. But first, in honor of this episode, I think this animation needs to go 3D. Perfect. 3D printing is the process of creating a solid, three-dimensional object using a digital model. We'll take a digital blueprint of a wrench. The wrench is scanned or made from scratch on the computer and the dimensions are sent to the 3D printer. Using various materials like metal, plaster, and the most common photopolymer, the 3D printer, layer by layer, starts to print the actual working wrench. Sounds like some pretty futuristic stuff, right? Wrong. 3D printing has actually been around for a while. In 1984, Chuck Hall of 3D Systems Corp. invented the first working 3D printer. This is what the first one looked like. And this is what some look like now. Yes, that is a 3D printing pen. This is the future, people. Older models of 3D printers were very limited to what they can do, so some took days to print. They were mainly used to create things like scale models of houses used in architecture. In the future, we'll be using them to build real houses, for real people. The printing device would be rather massive, but imagine hitting a button, waiting a little bit of course, and poof, your new dream house. 3D printing is growing popular in many industries, and it's becoming possible to print almost anything. Toys, jewelry, car parts, and food. Yes, food. We have successfully 3D printed a pizza, ladies and gentlemen. It is not delivery, it is science. While it might seem gross, the technology right now is being used for astronauts to cook with ease in space. So that means no more relying on gold canned food or freeze-dried ice cream. But 3D printing is doing more than just trinkets and pizza. We are now developing 3D printing technology that can make human tissue. It's called BioInk, and it's made up of living cells. It has a gelatin base that is kept in a liquid state, and that gives it the ability to print, just like ink. Scientists estimate that in 10 years, we'll even be able to print new organs. Skin grafting, print. New liver, print. Prosthetic leg, not an organ, but why not, print. You see how cool this technology is? To learn more about it, check out the links below and tell us, if you could 3D print anything, what would it be? Would you 3D print a pizza? This is Life Noggin, and don't forget to keep on thinking.